We're in the midst of a campaign toward November. We have this huge gubernatorial race, a battle between Meg Whitman and Jerry Brown, and, and it seems like the issue right now is who can and who cannot talk, or who will or who will not talk, or listen to uh, Meg Whitman. We've discussed this over the past couple of weeks as it relates to the CNA, the California Nurses Association, or the Nurses Union as to why, number one, they're chasing Meg Whitman around the state, and number two, why Meg Whitman is not permitted to write a letter to the membership of the CNA. And we're more than happy to have on the MalouFlaw.com capital line here on 1380 KTKZ, the co-president of the CNA, Jerry Jenkins. Good morning, Jerry. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Let me just have you answer that question. Why can't Meg Whitman write a letter to the membership of the CNA? Well, why can't Meg Whitman meet with the members of CNA in person and talk to them in person? We've arranged for uh, a conference of nurses on July 15th. We've said that we'd bring in a neutral third party to mediate it, someone from the media, and have the nurses ask her to, her, you know, in person what their concerns and issues are about her campaign. Why isn't she willing to meet with nurses in public like that? Is that, What's is her that problem? The, is that the, What's the, she afraid the, of is, in having is, to is, confront nurses face to face and okay. have to answer their questions? Well, let me in let me let me address something here. Is that the joint session with Jerry Brown? I mean, do you want to? No, have a no, forum no, with Jerry it's Brown not. It's Meg, not the or? joint session with Jerry Brown. Mm -hmm. We 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 took that we took that consideration and we've agreed to have her meet individually on mm -hmm. her own mm -hmm. with the nurses and ask to have the nurses be able to talk to her face to face. What's her problem with that? Um, We're not talking about a debate with Jerry would, Brown. Would We're that, talking about with her sitting down with how, the nurses and letting them voice their okay. issues and concerns about her campaign. Mm -hmm. Why is she afraid to do that? Mm -hmm. Um, would that be with all of the nurses or just a select few of the nurses? It would be with an open invitation to our membership in general, anyone who wants to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone who wants to come, All right, well, let no me, scripted let me, let me, questions, open, honest dialogue. Okay. She has said she wants to have as much of a conversation with the citizens of California as she can uh -huh. in an open, transparent way. How All much right, more transparent right, well, can well, it get? You know, I mean, once you, you mentioned moderator, though. That's not, you know, open conversation. A third person, that's a neutral moderator, moderator, someone from the media who could moderate All it. All right, well, let me, Jerry, let me ask you. If, if you were running a campaign and you had a group that was already uh, opposing you, spending millions of dollars against you and endorsing your opponent, would you go and speak to them with a moderator? Well, well what, what is she afraid of? First of all, I think it's insulting and demeaning mm -hmm. to nurses that you think we're not intelligent enough to make an informed decision about oh, I don't, what our I issues don't think, are. No, no, no. I don't, oh, I don't think that's my... No, no, you Jerry, wrote on your Jerry, blog no. that you think we're being brainwashed, no, 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 so Jerry, I find Jerry, that offensive well, 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 hold on a second, Jerry. That, that's not my position. I'm just curious as to why the union won't let individual members of the CNA get a letter from a candidate. That seems to me to be censorship. Well, let me tell you, our censorship. members are really incensed that she's already bought information about them and is, 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 is sending letters to their homes. I mean, our membership is very touchy about that. We've had some serious problems with that in the past where people have just flooded our members with, with information. And, and what, that really, what really outrages nurses that Whitman is buying private information. Do, do your members vote? Her, do, your, do your members vote, Jerry? Of course they do. All right. and, well, and, and if and you're and running for office, do you have a right to communicate uh, the presentation of your right campaign? She has a right to communicate, and she can do well, it in a that, public forum. That, that's why she's sending questions to their faces. That's why she's sending mail to voters. I mean, it's not well, mail to nurses; it's mail to voters. It's. <laughs> You know, it, she has already engaged in push polling through a company in, in New Jersey that r runs polls for the GOP, and and we 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 don't want we think it's appropriate for why, her to. Why uh, have, We don't why? we guard our membership's okay. privacy. Number one, nurses would be really incensed with us if we did that because we guard their well, that's, privacy. Well, that's, that's, that's not that's not what I'm anybody, hearing, Jerry. Okay? That, that's not what I'm hearing from the nurses that call the show. Many of them are very upset. Now, hang on a second, catch your breath. Many of them are very upset that you're following Meg around with this Queen Meg thing, and you're spending millions of their union dues. What gives with that? Well, we have 85,000 members. We are a democratic organization. Our membership elects our leadership through an open uh, open uh, election process of the entire rank and file of the membership. We have a 34-member board of working mm -hmm. nurses, elected officers who are working nurses, who are elected by our membership. And we, we, uh, we believe in the democratic process. We do that within our own organization. Then let Meg we write a letter and let him read a letter. I'm sure you can see the letter before it goes, and she'll keep the, uh, the mailing well, list first secret. Of all, let, we don't trust if her you, if you believe in the open democratic process then you believe in free speech and you're against censorship we're, 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 then let her come and talk to nurses face to face what's she afraid of uh, she, she afraid she, of her you know what when it's uh, i don't i don't buy it jerry because i wouldn't tread lightly uh, into any meeting that you would organize because you have chased her around the state by plane and by 
sophomoric listen, drama listen, with this queen Meg thing. Skin, she ha, has I has the CNA has the C- she's got a problem. Has the CNA given Jerry Brown any money for this race? I, I don't think so. No. You don't think so. Right. I don't know. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, no. How much have you uh, spent on the Queen Meg campaign? I don't, I don't know off the top of my head of that either, but I tell you that... $1.1 $1. Um, $1 million? Um, first of all, I think it's very disingenuous of her to make an issue of this. That she's running against Jerry Brown. She's not running against... No, 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 no. She, and, she's, and no she's, she's come, she's come running. out and part of this as some big issue, when the reality is if she wants to speak to nurses, we're providing her with a form to do it. She, and she's and running I, and, you know, to gain people. She can come and defend her positions to the nurses. She's running to gain individual citizens' votes, and she's representing an office that's an executive office that represents the economic structure of the state, which includes, by great respect, nurses who and are wonderful. And she that wants will, will flash the public safety net that will undercut she our ability to take She does not represent of... a reduction of the ratio law, and you know that. Well, we're not. Well, there's more at stake here than the ratio law. She has come out and said that she she wants to roll back the regulatory standards in this state and, and to yes, um, because to have businesses smart, effective want... regulations that don't strangle business. What does that mean? She says that because one day and the next day she says are, she supports ratios. Because businesses are fl- support ratios? All right, Jerry, i got to get a traffic break in here. We'll continue on the other side. Let you catch a breath on me, too. Jerry Jenkins, a co-president of the CNA. More when we come back 18 minutes after 7 o'clock. Meg and the nurses and the union saying she can't write the letter. And, boy, we're uh, we're rolling to November already. All right, Larry, Dave, thank you. Nice.